teaching in a school that has such history and tradition, but the aging infrastructure and the aging facilities are a real challenge for us. Many of the classrooms, this one in particular, leaks quite badly, and so it's a challenge to keep water off the students. The students are stuck in their classrooms trying to concentrate on tests, and they're not in the best condition to be focusing. We are a school that was built for 700 students. When you're in here and there's 35, 40 bodies, it, it's very impactive. It, it's hard for students to stay focused just due to the confines of a, of a portable and, and old facilities. One of the most important things we can do for our students is to equip them to be a 21st century or global citizen. We have two classrooms now that are 21st century classrooms which have completely redefined um, the way a traditional classroom works. One of the most exciting things about this new 21st century classroom for me as a teacher is that now I don't have a classroom full of desks where students come and park themselves for 80 minutes a block, but it's now a, a room full of tools, really. The desks are very easy to move and um, changing from testing positions and rows to big group discussions or small group discussions is very easy and uh, we don't lose that much class time. Now to, to have these tables that sit two kids, to have rolling chairs, to have rolling tables, to really be able to move it around to, to what I specifically need has been incredible. My kids walk into my room now, you can tell that there's a little bit more of that kind of excitement, engagement, and buy-in. We're preparing students for jobs that potentially don't yet exist. We, we have to be set up to do that well. It's not something that can just happen in, in your traditional you know, classroom with, with 40 desks you know, in rows. By investing more in the school, investing in the students that are here, you know, those kids get a better education, they get better opportunities after Del Oro. Hopefully then they go out and they come back uh, to our communities and, and bring their successes back. I definitely see myself establishing my roots back in Loomis when I come back after college and when I begin a family. I definitely want my kids to experience what life is like here in Loomis. You don't just benefit from your kids learning, you benefit from everyone learning. And if you are able to have someone go through an education and move on and maybe make the next big innovation, that's going to improve your life whether you realize it or not. What we like to do is hopefully get a bond um, in the near future just so we can have some funding to upgrade all of our facilities. If we're not able to make these changes and upgrade our facilities to meet our student needs, what I foresee happening is that our community will just stay status quo. I want to see them succeed and I want them to have every opportunity that they can have. Um, when we're working with students, a big push is always why limit yourself? Why, you know, your choices now are directly impacting your future. Uh, and the children are our future.